Welcome everybody. We are going to have a look at the passive. This is some important grammar here on page 98 in 9b. At first, I would like to ask you about uh, exercise one. So for example, Tomáš, can you tell me what can your mobile phone do? Um, my uh, mobile phone can uh, maybe used for flashlight or I can pay something with mm -hmm. with uh, my phone and mm -hmm. also chat and call with someone Excellent. and uh, maybe using a maps thanks mm -hmm. to gps location and yeah, yeah. yeah. and watching so there, movies there are many kinds of apps right that that you can use uh, on your phone today uh, excellent now you were supposed to read the text and uh about mobile phones and tell me short the history of mobile phones especially what happened in the following years 73 86 92 and so on so maybe Jakub, uh can you tell me what happened in the year 1973 did no, you find sorry. out yes so in 1973 uh, was made first uh call by mobile phone yes uh, in english you must begin with the subject yeah. podmetem, right so the first so, mobile phone so the first mobile phone call was made. Was made in 1973. All right. Yeah. What you could do instead, for example, you could say in 1973, the first mobile phone call was made. That would be also okay. Huh? Yeah. And by whom, Jakub? Uh, Martin Cooper. Martin Cooper. Excellent. Now, Richard, could you tell us what happened in the year 1986? Uh, Voicemail was added two phones mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay you don't have to say the year fine no problem and then uh what happened in 92 92 first message was sent mm -hmm. excellent and the last part what happened middle slav what happened in 97 in 97 uh, the camera phone was invented excellent Easy peasy. So now let's have a look at uh, the examples of passive here. When it comes to 1973, Lukash, where can you see the passive in this sentence? Lukash, are you there? Um, where is so... the passive in this sentence? Sorry. Where is the passive? That's the grammar here. Where is the passive in this sentence? Kde najdeme trpný rod v této větě? OK, no problem. Uh, David, can you try? Where is the passive in this sentence? Uh, wait a minute, I uh, try to find it. Uh -huh. I'm talking about this sentence here, yeah? Yes. Where is it? Trpný rod. Trpný rod může být jenom na slovesech, že? Takže hledáme sloveso. Uh, was made. It was made, right? That's it. There we go. And then you see another part, which is highlighted here, by, right? By somebody. This is also quite important for, um, uh, for the passive uh, voice. You will see soon enough. So let's write this sentence here. We already had some example here. This is the example that we had. Now, this is, this is the active voice. The police see the criminal. The criminal is seen by the police. This is the passive. And now, I will write the passive first. So, for example, we had uh, the first mobile phone. The first mobile phone was made in 1972 or three. Three by Martin Cooper. By Martin Cooper. Now, this is passive, and for example, um, maybe Peter, could you make it an active voice? How sure. can we make it active? Uh, Martin Cooper made the first mobile phone in 1973. Easy peasy, okay. So Martin made the first phone in 1973. Okay, thank you very much. Now, that means that here, this used to be this used to be the subject. Tohle byl kdysi teda podmět. Teď už to podmět není. Že jo? Podmět je najednou tady. The first mobile phone was made. 
kdo co, první mobil byl vyroben tímto, tímto pánem v roce 73. Zatímco tady Martin je podmět a tady máme předmět a to je the first phone. Takže co se, co se vlastně stane mezi činným a trpným rodem? Prohodí se podmět za předmět. Okay? Subject for an object. This is what happens. And now, if you want, you don't have to say this, right? You don't have to say it. You can just say the first mobile phone was made in 1973. And that's it. But if you want to tell me uh, by whom, you must use the, uh, the preposition by. Now, I have a question for you. This is the, the real examples of passive. Could you tell me how to create passive in general? What are the rules for creating passive? Jak teda udělám obecné pravidlo pro, pro trpný rod? Může to být v různých časech právě, takže jaké je obecné pravidlo? Anybody can tell me? What is the verb that I need? I need a verb, right? Potřebuji pomocné sloveso vždycky. Co je to pomocné sloveso, které potřebuji? Well, what is this verb? Co je tohle za sloveso pomocné? So, for example, Idar. Jaký je, jaký je infinitiv tohoto slovesa? Is uh, or was? Uh, to znamená, to pravidlo vytvoříme obecně, abychom měli jako formuli, podle které můžu vždycky jet, nehledě na to, jaký je čas. Sloveso být, ne? So be, be, sloveso být. And then you have seen and you have made. So, uh, je to ten pr- druhý a nebo třetí tvar? Máme třeba, OK, be, be, was, been. Right? V tomhle tom hlavním slovese používáme druhý nebo třetí tvar? Třetí tvar, OK, třetí tvar. Does anybody know what we call this uh, kind of form? Jak se to nazývá v angličtině, ten takzvaně třetí tvar? Anybody knows? I'll write it maybe in English, it will help. Third form of the verb, which means it's called past participle. OK? Příčestí minule se tomu říká. Takže third form of the verb, so for example, been would be correct, all right? Now, thank you. Based on this, we also have the rules here in the book. If you look here in the book, uh, yeah, I've already completed that, but now we can try together. Now that we have uh, the, the rule, the passive is formed with the correct form of the verb. Takže musíme dbát na to, jaký je ten čas, a ten čas musí být na tom pomocném slovesu. A jaké je to pomocné sloveso? What is the phrase uh, for this the auxiliary verb? Uh, maybe Miroslav, can you tell me? What is the verb? To pomocné sloveso. Uh, was? I'm was už je, když sure. už tam dám ten čas minulý, ale když tam není žádný čas, tak je sloveso být jenom. Be, be? Be, exactly. And we use the past, this is what we have just said, right? Now, um, for, the pre, oh, for the present passive, takže pokud my máme přítomný čas, v tom, um, uh, v tom pasivu, tak jaký tam použijeme čas tady? Present passive bude mi teda přítomný prostý čas. Present pass? Present, present. present simple, right? No. Over B. And, then, pass. and past, that's it. If we want to say who performed the action, když chceme teda říct, ale nemusíme, kdo tu akci provádí, což znamená ten původní podmět, by. použijeme před jménem by. That's it. Easy peasy, no? So that means, let's have a look at one sentence here. For example, here, the police see the criminal, blah, 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 all right? This is the present, all right? Now, how can I make it in the past? Maybe uh, Andrzej, Andrzej Če, can you tell me? Jako v tom minulém, jo? To znamená, byl viděn policií, doslova. The criminal. The criminal. Uh, was seen mm-hmm. by by the police. By the police. Now, what if I say the criminals? Can you tell me, Richard? The criminals. You see here, it's a problem, right? That's why you need to change this. Yeah. So, if I say the criminals, I can't. Uh, just 
change of bar. Yeah. Were, yeah, were. The criminals were seen by the police. Excellent. So we have the present. And now uh, another one for present here, maybe we forgot. Again, the criminals, and I cannot say is, right? What do I say? Anybody knows? Again, you see it's underlined. It's, it's a problem here, this one. Are seen, yeah? So, vidění policii, teď. Now, um, what if I want to create the negative? Když si s tou udělat zápor, kam půjde ta částice záporu? Anybody knows? Kam hodím to not? Je yeah, not are seen, are not seen, anebo are seen not? Anybody knows? Who can tell me? So, for example, here, the police don't see the criminal, right? This is what I would say. The police don't see the criminal. But here I cannot say don't, right? What do I say? Isn't. Isn't, that's it. To znamená ten zápor se pojí s tím po, na, na tom pomocném slovesu, takže aren't, I can say, or are not, right? I can simply create another word that will, I will add to it. Now, what if I use, for example, words like sometimes or usually, for example? usually sometimes all right there are more words but uh, basically uh, adverbs come down příslovce na, na kterou pozici řeknu usually were seen were usually seen or were seen usually anybody knows kam se častěji dává několik možností je ale nejčastěji se dává kam anybody knows so peter can you try in this sentence, where would you put usually? Where is where it's grammatically correct to put usually? Uh, the criminals are usually seen by the police. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And this is also what you will find in your book. If you go back here, you will find it right here. Okay. When we use adverbs with the passive, we usually put them immediately before the past participle. Immediately, right, right in front. And phones are sometimes used as alarm clocks. It was probably invented by accident. So the words like sometimes, probably, usually, you can also put at the beginning of the sentence. That would be fine. Sometimes phones are used as alarm clocks. That would be fine. All right. It's just that the most common uh, way to see it would be between these two verbs. Okay, guys. So now we know the theory. And now it's time for some practice, all right? This is uh, the 9B on page 140. Uh, I don't know why here in the book they say 130, but it is on page 140, okay? So let's go to 140. This is what you have for your written task. This is what you need to finish by Friday, okay? So guys, this I'm talking about exercise one, two, three, and four. You will need to do it here, yeah? Or, or you will do it on your own at home. So don't forget here when we talk about past participle, usually the, the third form, past participle, is different from uh, the second form. So for example, Idar, break, what is the past tense of break? I give me the child with break. Broken. Uh, broken is the past participle. We born a kid on the farm. A broke, broke. So be careful here when you write your homework. Don't forget, you, you should write both, it would be the best, okay? But if you, if you want to, you can just write one, one form, but it must be the third form. Sometimes this form is the same, okay? But usually it's not. So that's the problem. I need to see that you know it now, yeah? because you will need it for uh, the exercises later, okay? Uh, then over here, simply you need to uh, create the auxiliary verb, tady je pomocné sloveso. And here you will need to create it all. Tady už to je pak na vás celé. Okay? This is for your homework. And also you have the workbook in it. Je v tom mi pracovní kniha. Okay? The, the workbook is here. You will also need to finish this one. Okay? But for now, guys, I believe it will be easy for you. So th that's why you have also workbook in it. And let's have a look together at exercise five in your, in your workbook and exercise six. I'm going to put you into teams and I would like you to work on this together again. So uh, do exercise five and exercise six. These two exercises. Try it together on your, uh, with your friends and uh, come up with the best answers. 
So let's begin. Let's have a look at the um, exercises here. I hope that you are listening uh, okay. to the theory, which now should be very easy, I hope. So let's try. Veet, can you try the uh, number two, the best selling phone ever? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, because yeah. the best selling phone ever was the Nokia 1100. 1000. 1000. And. And hundred, mm -hmm. more than, um, more than, than, more than, um, two hundred fifty million and fifty, yeah, two hundred and fifty million were uh, sold. No, no, no. Sold. Sell, sold, sold, sold. They were sold. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. In Japan, mobiles. Uh, Japan. Speaking of Japan, then can you tell me? Uh, okay, in Japan, mobiles often. Uh, no, 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 no. So, just to uh, In Japan, mobiles uh, are used often for. No, no, no. Often must be somewhere here. Are sometimes used, was probably invented. So, are often. Are often used for in the in the shower. in the shower. So most of them are waterproof. Could you explain then what waterproof is about? Uh, waterproof. waterproof. Uh, uh, the water can damage the the device. Can or can't? Can't. Can't. Uh, I... Okay. Thank you. The average text message, uh, maybe Miroslav, can you tell me? Uh, the average text message uh, is usually ends right within 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good job. Uh, maybe Tomáš, can you try number five? In, 20 uh, in 2012, mm -hmm. uh, 300,000 uh, 300 uh, iPhones uh, are both every day. I mean, 2012 is finished, Tomas. It's finished. We are in year 2021. Ah, iPhones uh, were both every day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Andre, okay, can you okay. talk? Yeah. Today, the internet is uh, accessed more often uh, from phones than computer. Yeah, there we go. Than from you. computers, sorry. Uh, more often, yeah, yeah, correct. Uh, Jakub, can you try number seven? Uh, more text messages are sent every year in the Philippines than yes. any other. Is country. that correct, uh, Jakub? Like this? Uh, no, I think it's a T. Yes, because we have send, send, send. The pronunciation is the same, but the ending is with T now in, in the second and the third form. Uh, excellent, thank you. Uh, Idar, can you try number eight? Yeah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The world's, the world's uh, talks phone uh, was dropped 25 meters uh, on the uh, concert concrete. and did concrete. Con we had it concrete. last yeah. yeah, a concrete and uh, did not break. Excellent. Uh, can you again read this word here for me, Aidar? Uh, I don't know how to say it. So I... Try it again. Toughest. Toughest. Toughest, yeah. So tough, yeah. how can we translate tough? Anybody knows? Or use a different word, maybe. Like hard. Hardened, hardened can be. So it means it is very resistant to damage. In this context, yeah. right? in this context that we have here, it means it, it is very difficult to break. But if I say, for example, he's a tough man, I don't mean that he is difficult to break, strong. right? Come again. You mean strong? Strong, yeah, strong, very like uh, rational, strong, masculine, right? That would be like tough. Of course, girls can be tough too, uh, but it, like maybe emotionally tough. Uh, but you know, when you hear tough, then uh, you are difficult to to cry. You are difficult to be hurt, basically. Now that's it. Now let's try number one. Um, for example, uh, Lukash, can you tell us number one? Mm -hmm. 
Why was Ashlyn Brooker watch it more carefully than all the other children at her school? Yes, only pronunciation, Lukash. Why was Ashlyn Blo Blocker watched? Watched. Sorry. Watched. Yeah, it must be short in here. Thank you. Number two, uh, maybe Peter, can you try number two? Of course. Um... Billy Wait, I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, <laughs> uh, were Dan, Dan and Kate Suski rescued by helicopter after their boat sank? Uh, Suski, I think, should be pronounced. Uh, Suski? Rescued, but th that's a little thing, that's just a name. Uh, okay. Guys, I need to tell you one thing. Um, when you have this, you often pronounce it as where, all right? Look, where is this, where, okay? And when you have were, you see that there's a very different symbol here, right? There's this symbol here. And it, again, let me show you where, where, and this, were, were, er. Okay, I know it sounds like a stupid thing, but I'm telling you because, uh, you know, native speakers will really be sensitive to this sound, all right? And if you say where, most native speakers will simply hear this, nosit, okay, where. But this is were, were. But unfortunately, you know, in this online environment, we cannot really practice it well. But uh, the moment we come back to school, I will remember this and uh, we, we can try some a pronunciation exercise for this one. Okay, let's try number three. Um, maybe Richard, can you try? Um, what skills are improved by playing online video games according to a report? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's try number, uh, number four. David, can you try? Uh, who uh, wa was nearly killed by a storm at a paragliding event. Mm -hmm. You could also use this one, got, if you want. Do you know why? Any that's a question for anybody huh? in the classroom. Why can I use got here? Got nearly killed. Anybody know? It would be also correct. Was or got? Anybody knows? Now, because we have the collocation, existuje stvar, get killed, což znamená jako být zabit. And uh, why is there get? Proč existuje někdy get? Když já třeba řeknu, get married, get drunk, get killed, get sober again. I get drunk and I get sober after a while. And I, I'm okay again, right? Anybody knows why we use get? Get dark, right? Outside, it gets dark. Anybody knows why we use get? Sorry? Uh, that's not for you, David. That's for everybody. That's for the whole class. Yeah? It's okay if you don't know. So look, when I uh, I get red, right? I get red here. There's a change. Change of me or change of something. If there is a change, we use get. And I get killed. I'm I'm alive. I get killed. All right? There's a change. A change of me, of my body, or of uh, color of some quality. So when you have get married, I am single and now I get married, okay? Or uh, I, I am here, I'm normal, I'm pale, I'm white and I get, I get red. Or outside it is uh, bright and it gets dark. I feel okay and then I get drunk, okay? And so that's when we, when we use get, in the passive you can use got, got killed, got nearly killed, it would also be okay, yeah? So you see that sometimes the passive can also look like this, but let's stay here with this one. Who was nearly killed? That's okay. Uh, all right, uh, let's try the next. Um, maybe Andrzej, Andrzej K, can you tell me why? Uh, number five, uh, okay. Why is Joe, Joe, I have a little bit of a Okay, yeah, okay. Allowed to go sleep at the work. Yeah, you can come back to the readings here and you might read it again if you want to. Then Andrzej uh, Cha, can you tell me? Number six. Uh, why was Terry at the door? Uh, laughed. Loud. Loud. At. Laughed at. This is a regular verb. Pravidelna sloveso, just touching on ED. Laughed at. And uh, don't forget this at. 
because when I have uh, uh, the f verbs that have these kind of prepositions, it must be even in, in the questions like this, okay? So we laugh at somebody, okay? For example, another one might be interested in. Why was Terry L. Alderton interested in, or what was he interested in after sunbathing, for example? There, there might be many other cases like this. Let's try number seven. Um, for example, uh, Jakub, can you tell me where? You see, this is where, yeah, where? And now this is a big difference, right? Yeah. Where? Uh, or maybe it's just uh, maybe it's just present tense. It's, we can use it for present. Yeah. Okay, please, Jakub. So, um, uh, where are meetings? Mm -hmm. uh, so sometimes. And now hold, hold it. Hold, hold. it. Held, held, hold, held, held. Yeah, held, okay. held. So where are meetings sometimes held? Now, uh, if I use it in the past, can you read it for me again, Jakub? Where, where? No, <laughs> this is not the same word, guys. Yeah, be careful. Where were, where were? It's more like eh, and this is oh. Where were? Like where were? Yeah, much better, much better. Uh, yeah, you see. I think that the case might be that uh, even a lot of even I was uh, learned like this at school. Even I learned it to pronounce it badly, actually, and I had to relearn it later. All right. So, guys, don't worry about it too much. We will practice it in the classroom later. Let's try number eight, Tomash. Where, where, where the world <laughs> where, where, where? found it in the certain man case. Yeah, yeah, can you read it again, please, Tomash? One more, once more. Where, where were mm -hmm. the words? The words Tamam should found, found in the Samaritan man case. Man case, all right. So, guys, thank you so much. That's uh, all for now. You will continue with similar stuff in the written exercises in your homework. Okay, so I hope now that it's all clear. I'm going to leave this lesson, uh, the video, and also the this document that we wrote. I also left this one here. Uh, I will leave it on Google Classroom so you can have a look at this. If you have any problems, feel free to send me an email or simply ask me in the next uh, in the next lesson. Okay, so guys, that's all for today. Thank you very much for coming. And the pronunciation we can practice only in the classroom. Here, it doesn't make any sense. There's no way I think we can we can practice. So guys, thank you so much, and I will see you later. Huh? Have a nice day. Bye bye. 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 bye.